hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning online and uh, today in this video i will be discussing about the slope deflection method of analysis of indeterminate structure and uh, as you can see in this numerical we have a continuous beam of uh, sp i mean having a span ab loaded by a udl of 8 kN per meter span bc loaded carrying a point load of 30 kN at mid span and uh, all 6 kN is uh, a cantilever portion uh, span CD is cantilever portion having the point load 6 kN of a span 2 meter and the uh, flexural rigidity is I in each cases so uh, and uh, you in this video we will find that the numerical is solved step by step and uh, finally I will be showing you to the, the concept or the way of drawing the uh, bending moment diagram so uh, without wasting time let's begin the video here in this uh, numerical our first step is going to find the fixed in moment we need to find the fixed moment fixed in moment at each support for that here are some of the formulas uh, and uh, for which are which are to be considered under the different loading condition for example, if our span is loaded with UDL, then we will be using the formula WL square by 2L. If the if the span is loaded with point load, uh, having the span L and W at the mid span, then we need to for use the formula plus minus WL by 8. And for asymmetrical loading, means uh, if the point load is acting away from the center of the beam then we will be using plus minus w or oh sorry minus w a b square by l square and plus w a square b by l square and uh, you should i hope you students will note down this formula which is these formula are very important and you need to find um, the fixed in moment in the uh, method such as moment distribution method and uh, slope deflection method and there is one more method uh, which is uh, Canis rotation method and in th all those method we our very first step is to find the fixed in moment so you students please note down this formula and uh, I hope this is this formula is going to be helpful for finding the fixed in moment in those numericals so uh, now we will move toward the step one of the given numerical and let's see the solution step by step and uh, here is step one in step one we have to find the fixed in moment so i will be finding the fixed in moment at uh, end a then we will be using the notation m a b and this cap indicates the fixed in moment is equal to uh, minus w l square by 2 well this is as per the formula which i saw you just few seconds seconds ago then I need to put the value which is equal to minus 8 into L square means 36 upon 2 well then this is going to be 2 well 3 times 36 so this is going to be minus 24 kilo Newton meter similarly M B A is equal to plus W L square by 2 well and this will be equal to plus 24 kilo Newton meter now i need to find the fixed in moment of span bc m bc and this is point load which is acting at the mid span so i will be using the formula minus w l by 8 so this is going to be minus 30 into l means uh, 4 4 4 plus 4 this is going to be 8 by 8 this is going to be minus 30 kilonewton meter similarly mcb is equal to plus 30 kilo newton meter and uh, m c d now see here uh, this load is act load is acting downward and the reaction at c to oppose the moment will act in anti clockwise direction so we need to we need to use the negative sign so m c d is equal to minus m c d is equal to minus 6 load into distance means minus 12 kilo newton meter I hope you may not have faced any difficulties here up to this step now let's move toward the step second now in step second I will be using the slope deflection equation and slope deflection equation is given by uh, suppose we are using the slope deflection equation for 
point A or so support A then it will be given as M A B is equal to M A B plus 2 E I by L times 2 I A plus I B I A and I B indicates the slope at end A and slope at end B and uh, this is the final moment oh sorry this is the fixed in moment and this is the final moment at in a so now we need to put the value and we will get the answer and uh, similarly m b a is equal to m b a plus 2 e i by l times 2 i b plus i a so put the value here the fixed in moment at a is minus 24 plus 2 e i by span is 6 meter and uh, 2 times here the slope at in a is going to be 0 because the in a is fixed in so in a slope deflection equation slope deflection method the fixed in sl more slope at uh, the fixed in is considered at 0 so here iota a is taken at 0 then we need simply need to take i b which is going to be simply i b this terms becomes zero so now divide this we will get minus 24 plus e i by 3 times i b and this is going to be our equation one similarly i need to put the fixed in value of the fixed in moment at b a which is plus 24 plus 2 e i by l is equal to 6 meter into uh, similarly slope at a is zero so make it zero and it is multiplied by 2 times ib on solving this you will get 24 plus ei by 3 times ib sorry 2 by 3 ei times ib this is our equation 2 now we need to apply the fixed in moment at uh, sp in span bc then we will be finding m bc now see here here for uh, easy solution for getting the solution easily what we need to do is here in slope deflection equation we will be using a new type of equation in span bc as the our in c is uh, hinged so i will be using this equation see here carefully here we have to find the um, spine this find the moment uh, final moment final equation for mbc so this is given as mbc this is fixed in moment at bc minus m cb means fixed in moment at c divided by 2 plus 3 ei by l times ib this is the equation for finding the final moment or the equation of the final moment at uh, a point when the our or the opposite end is hinged so uh, i have used this equation because our and c is hinged if it were fixed then i will be simply using the formula uh, mbc uh, plus 2 ei by l times 2 ib plus ic okay if it were fixed then it is hinged so i will be using this formula mbc is equal to m bar c bc minus mcb bar by 2 plus 3 ei by l times ib now put the value of fixed in moment of bc so we have the value mbc is equal to minus 30 now for fixed in moment at cv what we need to do is let's go to the diagram and let me make you clear about it see here at point c two moments are acting one is due to the loading and one is due to this hinge support and we have the value of mcd which is equal to minus 12 kilo newton meter and uh, this is plus 30 kilo newton meter at c this both are acting at c so we need to take the difference of or sum of these two moment on adding these two moment we get uh, plus 18 kilo newton so i will be using the moment here and this is going to be our uh, 18 by to this is actually plus 18 by 2 this is from the sum due of moment due to the uh, due to the uh, hang, hanging support and due to the loading so this becomes 18 by 2 plus 3 ei by a span is 8 
into I B. This is our equation three. Now let's move toward the step three. And the equation becomes minus thirty nine plus three by eight e i times i b, and this equ equation becomes our equation three. Now let's move toward step three. Now uh, we have to in step three we are applying the uh, equilibrium condition, and for applying the equilibrium condition we need to select the support which are. Acting at the intermediate position of the span, and here the intermediate support is B. So we need to apply the uh, equilibrium condition at support B. So at uh, joint B, what we will have M B A plus M B C equals to zero. Now put the equation of M B A and B C and solve it to get the value of E I times I B. Now, here we have got the value of E I uh, times I B uh, by applying the equilibrium condition at joint B. Now, uh, we have to put the value of E I times I B in the equations which we have get got in e step two to find the final moment. So let's see how to find the final moment, which will be our step four. Here, I have found out the value of the final moment by putting the value of E I. Time e i times i b in each equation of uh, which were the equation were brought from the step second. Now we move toward the step five, which will be uh, the step to draw the bending moment diagram. So let's see how the bending moment diagram of the equation is done. And uh, you, I hope you will face no any difficulties while putting the pos positive and negative sign in the bending moment diagram. Let's see. Now, uh, for drawing the bending moment diagram what we need to do is we have to find the bending moment uh, due to loading for that at the mid span so here we have udl and the moment at the mid span is given by w l square by 8 on using this formula we will get the moment which is going to be 36 kilo newton meter which is for span a b and for span b c we need to find the moment due to loading again then this is going used found by formula w a b by l this is a this is b on doing so we will get 30 into 16 by 8 and this is going to be 60 and we already know the moment of cd now first we need to plot these moments here on the bending moment diagram and uh, here the moment due to the point load is uh, represented by the triangle and this is going to be 60 this is 60 and uh, here due to udl this is 36 36 at mid span now we need to draw the moment which we have got the uh, as the final moment and uh, a B this is minus 18 so draw this here this is our 18 point 79 and uh, at B A B A means 34 this is our 36 a little bit smaller than this this is our 34.41 join this now for B C we have minus 33 so a little bit small lesser here and uh, and uh, this is going to be minus 33.14 and uh, we have the value of cd which is 12 so draw this here minus oh sorry this is not actually minus 12 we have to uh, subtract we have got the value of the uh, the bc on subtracting on adding cb and cd then we this value will be here which is 18 which is 18 now uh, add this value now join this here now uh, all the value which exceeds which is above this line means this and this will be positive 
and uh, remaining that all will be negative just put the sign of negative here in these steps this all will be negative and uh, you might have noticed that the loading moment of due to loading which is mainly due to load are taken as positive and all the other moments are negative i hope you may not have faced any difficulty uh, while putting the sign of the bend sign in the bending moment diagram and uh, i hope you like the video and this video was helpful to all of you uh, do like and subscribe my channel and do share with your friend and uh, thank you have a nice day